Hello everybody, I am Coco. Welcome back to EU4. We are playing as the Coco Land. So let us continue. We are up here on, I don't know what we should call this island. I guess we could check in the colonial regions what this is. We are in the colonial Moripaqua. Something like that. Alright, let us continue. So I think last time we did conquer... Yes, there's issues. Okay, we don't want royal marriage with you. Taxtikwe will become a vassal of Nadaka, that's fine. Uh, last time we did conquer some of this stuff, it's still coring, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is, because it was actually quite expensive, you know, compared to other stuff we have. We are making lots of money. Do we have... Yeah, iron maintenance is down. But still, even if we put it up, it would be still some money. Gain one base tax in Coexil, I don't know where that is. Might be here? No, that's something else. That, is, that was not a colony. That was one of these, maybe? No, then I don't know where it was. It's fine, so good. Possibly somewhere around here. Possibly. Anyway, we do have our Kirklandia New Zealand. And I was comparing the tax income. So, if you look at this, this is still 75% autonomy. But since it's highly developed, we are still making more money per month than one of the let's see uh, 111 provinces that has zero autonomy there we go or if one of these provinces is given to one of the what's it called this estates you know it has 25 percent autonomy yeah it's the same so I guess this is still good to colonize those higher development provinces unless I'm doing something you know I'm missing something <clears throat> anyway, I was thinking we should go in here at some point Just you know, I was looking at the money income and Malacca is pretty dang good There's a lot of income, of course, trade power into Malacca from uh, our side from Australia and of course Tivan Jesso and Jim Talley Since we are working on trade ideas that would be quite a lot of trade We have a bunch of merchants we can send it in here and then collect in here and of course then defend against the Europeans when they come knocking <coughs> if need be right All right okay but what shall we do next that's a question I seem to be fabricating lots of claims but that's not what I want I think that's up here somewhere against you guys right yeah I actually wanted to start fabricating claims down here these guys became too big Let's take these highlands from them, shall we? It's time to clean up at home a bit, I think. It is time. Tart and Skiana. They're pretty solid places, of course. We'll need to wait to get that diplomat back home. But, you know, we can wait. 7 and 5 development. That's 111, 111. It's all crap, it would seem. This one is 4, but it's far away. Of course, we can turn around and go for our friends here in the savannah. That's an option as well. So let's fabricate claim on Tar. Where are you? Here. There we go. Fabricate me a claim there. Uh, will we need more troops? Possibly. We can afford a lot more, I think. Yeah, let's, let's make a bit bigger army, shall we? Let's get proper amount of horses, which would be four. Let's get two more cannons, and maybe two more infantry. That's gonna be quite some. Oh, we have fabricated somewhere up here as well. Uh, on this place, I do want a claim on Nekotovin, even though it's not the base, the best place, but you know, could be still cool. And was that? I think that was on you. Yeah, that was on this guy. Well, we don't need to attack these guys yet. Election in Republic. Wow, stasis are crap. Well, I guess we we'll have to get an orangist again. I don't want a crappy stasis. Definitely not. All right. So you just be prey as usual, I think. 
And sure. Well, actually, I want Fenora, I'll marry you. We'll wait a bit. <clears throat> we shall wait a bit and then we shall royal marry you, my friend. Because we can. We gain the core. It's cool. I can royal marry to Jaskan as well. Which I shall. It's all good. Yeah, send some people there. I mean, there's no real need to royal marry, but let's do it if we can. So, where shall we send my dudes, my diplomats? So, an ability gain 10 loyalty for 10 prestige. Yeah, that's fine, that's completely cool. This one is 5, this one is 8. I think we'll go for this one. Sopatico. Is that your capital? It is. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But we are taking your capital. What about this one? This poor development. Eh. It's not the best. These guys are now their vassal though. Nodaka got themselves a vassal. Good job Nodaka. I'm proud of you. Exploration has been finished in Osu Shoals. Let's see. Now we can see this place. We can't see that. There's no... There's no Europeans yet. Fair enough. So where shall we send you now? Where are you going next, my friend? Eastern Indian Ocean. Or South Indian Ocean. Let's go to Eastern Indian Ocean. It's fine. And down here we have a colony. Good, good, good. So, uh, I think I'll... Hmm. The question is, should I go for the islands now? Or should I continue up here? I think we'll just connect our lands here. Let's do that. Well, connecting on lands means that I need to kill these guys. And I can't do that for 11 years, so that's unfortunate. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. We do have Totemist Zealots in 18 years. It's not gonna take 18 years for us to convert you, so... Don't really care about it. And we have 18k troops here now. Four cannons, four horses. We need a new leader. Let's hope he's good. Mr. Orange is... He's a siege guy. He's definitely a siege guy. <laughs> so, you know, I still have one diplomat. I need to spend somewhere. Might as well go here and fabricate a Nakatavin. And Timara is done as well. Great. Do we get a new mission? We do get a new mission. Conquer Vaitira. Uh, where is that exactly? Vaitira. Up here. Might as well take that. Because I did want to go for uh, these guys here. So we'll take Vaitira. It's not the best province, but we can take it. Sure. Might as well take these three then. Maybe even this one. This one is kind of crap. So I might just take this three. Fair enough. Uh, it's gonna take a while for us to fabricate, so we'll just continue on. You know. And when you get claims on both Tharth and Siaona, we'll go and attack them. In the meanwhile, you guys just chill. Just chill. 16 ducats per month? Wow. Trade is a lot now, already. Oh, actually that is because we're missing two colonists. Yep, that's it. And I, I haven't sent one anywhere. Uh, yeah, go here. Just continue this way. We'll take the shore. Right here. This one is 10 development. Oh no, our explorer died. No. Are you guys gonna survive your way back home? You should, I think. Have you uncovered anything? Don't think you came anywhere yet. We can get a new idea. I think we'll take the last one. Production efficiency and development cost. That production efficiency should be pretty good. Boom. And economics ideas are done. And now trade. I think unless we are really starving on admin points. I will go, because that's going to be a nice combination with trade as well. 
and later on we can focus more on military unless I do have a big you know uh, overflow of military points at that point but we'll see so you need to repair and you need a new dude two three two damn but we get good leaders huh are we gaining uh you have only one star the guy before you was three three zero and he had two two, two stars you're now two three two and you only have one star that hardly seems fair uh yeah our naval tradition is pretty damn good protecting trade goes up Probably we get some because we are uh, exploring, I would say so, most likely. We have colonized, we didn't colonize up here, what are you trying to say again? Um, sure, Japan is fighting. Kokolandian Shaunaon, something like that. Japanese tea culture, tea drinking is far from a new element in Japanese culture. The continued development of the Japanese tea ceremony during the 16th century, however, has led to the drink now becoming commonplace throughout Japan society. Yay for tea! I'm drinking tea while I'm recording this, so yay for tea. And uh, looks like merchants want some stuff. Let's give something to them. You know what? Let's give them something that's not that good. Let's, let's go down here. Give them one of these lands. Like this one is 1% exactly. There you go, that's all you need. All you need is 1%, 1%. 1% is all you need. Fabricate on this one. There we go. And we'll continue fabricating on Nadaka as well. Because we can. Go for that one. Yeah, we'll go for more conquest down here. We've been chill so far, but now I think it's time, you know, just to grow. Just to grow. We do have new enemies up here in the north and down here in the west. It's it's weird talking about Asia being in the west, you know. It's kind of weird, but that's the position we are in. It's always, you know, always been talking about the east when considering Asia. But fair enough. Um... Sempiali, the one I'm just started. Come on, chill game. This is this one, right? Yeah, let's call you back. Just twelve percent. Would take three years actually to to do that. So fabricate again. Great. And we did colonize up here. Shauna one. Nine development. I like it. Why are you having troops here? You're trying to colonize this? Not really, are you? Oh well. So we're gonna colonize up here. That's quite fine. Colonize and conquer. This island shall be ours. I very much doubted that we can get anything on this island before the Europeans show up. I mean, we still have only four colonists, right? Okay, we got a new claim down here as well. I can't really get a claim on you guys. Um, what shall we do with our dudes? Trade efficiency and trade range goes up for 10 years. Thank you. Colonial enthusiasm went down though. It's not that good. But we're gonna make it work. I think at Lakwa it's soon gonna be time that we break our alliance. Since if I wanna go to war with Nadaka. I might as well conquer this stuff as well, right? Oh, it's gonna take a while before we can get a new dude. Lose ducats, gain base tax. Wow, that's a lot of base tax. It will certainly lose some ducats. I could use my money to uh, actually build some buildings. Might be a solid idea. Although I'm a bit lazy on that when it comes to building stuff. I just go for a Tata. But maybe, maybe we shall. Maybe we shall. Oh, we can only make one more ship, huh? Let's make that one more ship then. Let's make our first heavy. Let's do so. Uh, buildings. Oh, let's develop buildings here. 
Right. I could go for some temples. Where would that make sense? Would that, would that make sense down here? I don't think with our HUD autonomy it would. I don't think it would. So anywhere a good place to build it. Plus 10 here. It's not the best. It's pretty crap to be honest. I could build barracks, but right now barracks is not something we could use. Well, this one. This one seems solid. Let's build one barrack here. We could get force limit. Okay, Siona, but it's 77%, so we'll chill. I could build some uh, docks. Let's build docks. You know what? Naval force limit is always useful. So let me build some docks. There we go. That's gonna be fine. And we can get trade range. Shall we do so? Let's do so. Let's get trade range. It's not gonna be enough to get the additional discipline, but we are close. I don't wanna lose stability. Thank you. So next thing is trade efficiency plus 10%. Good. That's gonna be even more money. And of course, that will bring us up to discipline as well. Pretty solid right now. Of course, I am waiting. I am waiting to get some claims here. So who are you allies with? Zotri and Nodaka. Well, that, that's gonna be good. I can kill Nodaka down here. Zotri will just remain there. Zotri are Norse now. We did convert some of these nations. So we don't necessarily want to kill people that are Norse. So if I fight you, I'll uh, first probably kill Nodaka here. Conquer something from them. Put annexation was demanded. Sure, Japanese, you just keep on fighting, boys. Just keep on fighting. It's completely fine. That's the last colony on New Zealand. Yep, New Zealand is done. So the question is, shall we continue up here? I think we shall. I mean, this one is tan development. So let's send it here. And sadly, this one is just one one. This one is eight. This one is eight. You guys have five here. We'll take this horn. And later on, we'll take more. Because we can. Indeed, indeed we can. I think we got a claim on the DACA. So let's uh, go for that one as well. Zhu is fighting Korchin, that's completely fine. Yeah, when this is done, in January 27th, it's gonna take a long time. But when this is done, we can start fighting. So, you know what? We will actually raise maintenance. Still making 10 ducats per month if you raise maintenance. That's, that's just silly. Oh, that's so much. You know, if we we start it, we start actually it's gonna be 8 ducats when we get a new colony, but it's fine. When we started, we couldn't afford one colony. We weren't making any money at all. Well, we did start colonizing right away though. And we got a claim on a Tata. We'll start fabricating down here as well. Gang. Might as well just take it all. Just take it all. And of course, Katlak will go. Start a war against Nadaka. God damn it. Seriously. Always. You do that always. Well, I have to accept. I don't want to lose my prestige. You know what? I'm not gonna fight this war for you. Because you're a dick. Or maybe I should. Eastern Indian Ocean has been revealed for the glory of our realm. Uh, I guess we can kill these guys. You will give me my lands. My lands that I want. Um, let's do... No, stay there. Stay. I said stay. Let's see if we can salvage this somehow. I want this lands. 
I have no interest here. I want this lens. God damn it. You know what? Screw you, Kutlakwa. Just screw you. Where are you going? You did attack the back, alright? So you shouldn't have any interest in these guys up here. I don't really care. And I don't need 18k together. You go fight Nodaka, and I'm going up here. I don't care about this down here. He's Autry. You guys go and siege my land if you want to. And I'm going up here. Yeah, there we go. We got a claim here. Are we actually gonna fight you? No, you stop. Fair enough. Let's detach and we'll fight you. There we go. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this episode here. So thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider dropping a comment down below. Share, like, subscribe, and I'll see more Do Your Magic. And I'll see you next time. Talk out. Thank you.